Hey everyone, Demise here. Welcome to, I think, uh, what should be the final um, video for the Clan Battle series. Um, uh, I talked about initially the, the looping, the hit optimizations uh, in the first video, and the second video was about uh, the overkill and the sinks. And now finally, the third video is going to be about the damage reports, as well as uh, using the save and load function. So, for this game, uh, it's very important that uh, you have 30 out of 30 players for your clan battle. Um, missing one player can be a huge impact on your overall score because you get 3 attempts per day and out of 5 days that's 15 attacks. Uh, and because of the multiplier and such, it's, um, it's vital that you get all 30 players online and doing hits, now, even if they just auto. So, um, this is what the We Auto Clan Battle 1 uses for um, the CP3, 2, uh, and uh, not 1 because it was formed after CP1. But um, essentially, it's a very easy Excel sheet um, that you put your IGN, your Discord, um, as well as your damage reports for the day. It allows us to track um, if you've done your hits, what your damage is like. So, if um, I remove all of that, this is what your report looks like uh, initially. There's just no damage. Um, and after you fill it, it'll turn green. And um, it's a good way to visualize you know, who has not done their hits uh, for the first day and which team it is. Um, this allows the... Um, uh, let's go back. This allows the, um, the leads and the subleads to um, monitor the guild, making sure that they tag uh, people who haven't come online, and making uh, making sure that uh, hits are done optimally, um, and giving them a chance to calculate um, what, for example, um, how many T2s are left if we go through the loop again and land on uh, boss 2 at uh, phase 2. Um, we also have a save and load side, uh, so this is a mechanic I didn't explain in the previous video. So each day you have a chance to save and load. And what that means is um, when you're in a fight, if you lose internet or if you disconnect, your run is, um, is forcefully uh, closed sometimes. And when that happens, it actually doesn't consume uh, any attempts. Uh, so you can see your attempts here. Uh, however, this only applies one th uh, once throughout the day. So what happens is initially this mechanic was created so that um, players, you know, if they have crappy internet and um, they disconnect, then uh, they can reconnect and attempt again. However, for example, when it was first released in Japan um, on the Japanese server, you had infinite resets. And then people used that function to essentially farm crits over and over again because each run, uh, the seed is obviously different. Um, so your chances of critting are going to be different as well. So they just kept resetting until they got the um, perfect run. Um, so later on, it was changed so that you only get one save and load per day. So obviously, um, for more casual clans, you do want to save this attempt on um, on the disconnects. However, because we now most of the people use emulator or have stable internet, it's pretty hard to screw up your run. Um, so what happened is uh, people can use this save and load function to redo a run that is screwed up because of RNG. So let's say, for example, you're doing your Griffin Auto. It's um, usually the highest damage um, run. And then for some reason, the Griffin kept critting your team. So your Kaori dies, your Jun dies, your Makoto dies. And you're missing out about uh, 50k damage. So instead of finishing the run and losing out on that chunk of damage, you can actually pause the game and then just force quit the app. And if you do that, it counts as a save and load. Uh, and of course, you remember, you only can do this once a day and you can redo the run. So you can see here that players have been using save and load. Essentially, um, um, they keep track of this by unclicking the box. And this is very important to, to keep track of because if, for example, you um, use this and you forgot, you didn't record it, the next time you save and load, it will eat the attempt completely. So you lose an entire run. And that's why it's sort of risky in the sense that you need to make sure you have good internet or your phone is not going to quit on uh, quit the app um, because there is a chance if you lose the f uh, if you use the save and load then you lose the attempt completely um, but yes it's overall a very good mechanic that uh, can salvage some of the um, bs rng that does happen in clan battles and i highly suggest uh, you guys to try it usually the rule of thumb is for team three you don't save and load unless 
um, one of the key damage dealer dies um, a minute in, um, you want to save it for team one, potentially team two for save and load, just because the the, the potential to increase or improve your score is much much higher if you use it on a um, team with much higher damage ceiling. Um, so I'll be creating this report for we Auto Clan Battle 2 and 3 and make sure you use this and also later on when the clan battle does take place you can use this because you have the IG and the Discord uh, name use this to tag people so that uh, everyone knows what's going on and um, uh, that people should be online to do their hits.